Salam alaikum and hello everyone to a new lesson of phonetics. We continue always with stress and this time we'll deal with stress placement in the English world. Right, or stress position in the English world. Now, as you know, the English word may contain uh, one syllable and it is monosyllabic and also it can be polysyllabic. It may contain two syllables, three syllables and even more, clear, and even more. So, uh, first for the one syllable uh, English word, it's clear, okay, that's it. The one syllable words, monosyllabic words are always stressed, clear, always stressed. They contain only one uh, vowel and one syllable. So it is also stressed here, like fast, like uh, train, clear, like can. So these are always stressed, but we don't put the stress uh, mark here, okay, in them, uh, except when they are put in the situation of uh, sentence stress. Sentence stress, here we, of course, put the stress mark, primary stress mark, on these words, okay, and for the rest uh, function words also, they, as you know, they are unstressed and they take weak forms. Good. Now, for the second category of English words, which is polysyllabic words, we will start today with the uh, two-syllable word, the two-syllable right. Uh, English word and here also under this two syllable or disyllabic word we have a lot of categories and grammatical functions we have two syllable verbs two syllable adjectives two syllable uh, nouns and two syllable adverbs and also two syllable right prepositions now let's start first with the two syllable simple verbs and the how and where to place stress right in these type of words. Now, we have here general rule which says in two syllable simple verbs, usually the second syllable is stressed. Clear? Second syllable is stressed. Right. Like, for example, in the word uh, connect, uh, also in the word uh, protect right so here usually in two syllable right uh, english uh, simple verbs second syllable is often and mostly uh, stressed so here also we need to dive deeper right with these uh, rules okay which govern stress position in two syllable simple verbs and we have here today two major rules Right, major rules which detail, right, precisely, right, uh, where exactly and when exactly we put the stress on this second syllable. And in case we have an exception, okay, uh, we also learn from them this exception. Now, the first major rule says that in two simple or two syllable simple verbs, right. The second syllable, yes, is stressed mainly if it contains a long vowel. Long vowel, like in receive, long e, in eve, and in include, long u, in ood, or in lood, clear, in include, right. So here we have two long vowels in my second syllable, that's why it is stressed on the second syllable. Also, the second syllable is stressed if it contains a diphthong. Diphthong, as you know, is a unit of two vowel sounds which come together. Right. Like in arrive, I have I, I, clear. And avoid, I have oi, second syllable. That's why in both cases, right, the verb here is stressed on the second syllable. Also, we have a third case for stressing second syllable in the two syllable verbs when the second syllable ends with more than one consonant. Clear? We find after the vowel in the second syllable more than one consonant, like in the case of relax. Relax. I have a and after it, k and sa. 
So here, second syllable is stressed. Also, resist. Resist. I have E after it's sa and ta. So here also in this case, the second syllable is stressed. Clear? Yet, for this first major rule, we have, okay, uh, some exceptions. Mainly, if this second syllable, in this two syllable, right, verb contains the diphthong au lau. When we find the second syllable of the two syllable verb, okay, au, diphthong au lau. Right. Like in follow, lau, borrow, right, row, clear, and swallow, also au. So all these verbs end with au, au, au diphthongs. That's why in this case, only here we stress the first syllable in verbs. So in this case, we stress the first syllable in the two syllable verbs when they end with the diphthong au lau. But in case we have au plus consonant, like in decode and erode, here we stress the second syllable and we stick to the first major rule. Clear? First major rule. Go. Now, I have also a second major rule which says that if the second syllable, right, in the two-syllable verb contains a, a short vowel plus one, only one, final consonant, clear, like in the words of uh, prophet, I have a short vowel E plus some ta, one final consonant, and open, I have uh, uh, the sound, okay, vowel sound, shva, after it's sound, na, only one final consonant. So in this case, the first syllable is stressed in two syllable verbs. Clear? Good. Also, we have a second case where we stress also the first syllable in uh, the two syllable simple verb. It is when also we have the second syllable, a short vowel lamb without any consonant after it. Clear? Without any consonant after it. Right. Like in the verbs study and carry. So here I have sta and d. So second syllable is d. Ends with only the uh, vowel e. Clear. So here we stress the first syllable. Clear. Because we have short vowel at the end. Allow. Also for carry, I have uh, in second syllable re, it ends with short vowel e allow. So I stress the first one can, right, as shown here on the video. Right. So these are simply uh, the two major rules for stressing uh, two syllable simple verbs in English. We said usually they are stressed on second syllable, uh, mainly if second syllable contains. Uh, uh, long vowel, diphthong, more than one consonant. All right, after the after the uh, the vowel, or if the second syllable contains right uh, short vowel, weak vowel, uh, either alone or plus a uh, one final consonant. Here we stress the first syllable. Thank you so much.